Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. So according to the title of the video, you see that we have a Louis Vuitton vintage wish list. So if you think you would like this type of video, I hope that you would keep watching. Again, if you are new, please know we do videos twice a week. Wednesday is usually a luxury upload. And then on Fridays, we do lifestyle videos, Fast by Fridays. I hope that you would like, subscribe, a comment, all the things. I, we also have like past videos and a playlist. My playlists are always linked in the description box. Just go back and see the type of videos that we have done. I'm sure you will find something that you are interested in. So today I do have another wish list video because I am in the process of making my um, bag collection more streamlined. You know, I, I've mentioned some bags that I've retired that I didn't sell, but I probably won't use them, but I'm gonna definitely keep them um, because either they were gifts or just sentimental reasons. Like, you know, just to hold on to some things. At the same time, I have decluttered my bag collection things my lifestyle obviously have changed several times over the years so I've really gotten things down to like a workable amount however there are some things that I would like to add to my collection uh, before we get started I'm sure you have heard all the rumblings that yes there is a another price increase the time just went through another price increase in the UK right now here in the US things things seem to be you know the same price i think we just went through one back in february so i want to say i want to say february they're usually not on track to have another one until like fall then they will do another one at the end of the year so not quite sure like the last um increase video that i did we just can't keep up we don't want to keep up it's just what it is because of the price increases just over on the purse blogs and the purse forum, people are saying that they are going back to buying vintage. I know my friend T, she really loves vintage bags. She, I don't wanna say only buy Louis Vuitton vintage bags, but she has a really healthy collection of vintage handbags. I think vintage has always been the way to go. Just, I mean, vintage bags. A lot of people don't like vintage because, you know, they're old. Um, they're old, but I think it gives the bags charm. And, you know, there are bags that are just totally trash that shouldn't be sold. And there are bags that are almost brand new. Or if they're not, if they're like 20, 25 years old, they're in really good condition. I have my little wish list here and I use that term loosely because there are only a few bags. But hey, I want to share with the team. Anytime we're talking about handbags, doing things differently, I always want to pop on and bring you guys up to date. So the first thing that I had on my wish list was a vintage key ball. And you know, recently I did a purchase my key ball from um, a fashion file, but you can find these everywhere. Fashion file. Fashion File has them at a good price right now. Be careful with Fashion File here lately. We all, I know a lot of us are Fashion File lovers. Uh, my friend Brandy sent me a blurb saying that it looks like Fashion File is changing how they do their discounts. So more to follow on that. She's gonna do some research that I can share with you guys. But um, just kind of watch. If you see something that you like, make sure you're following it to see how much more they bring it down. And if you don't see that they're bringing it down anymore, you probably want to go ahead and purchase because again I think they are changing how they do like discount it overall then even they used to have last call I think they still have last call but they don't advertise it as much I want to say that this was last call um I think I paid 400 for this maybe probably can do even better on ebay if you're okay with ebay i've seen them go for 200 dollars and such i just would not buy this brand new i it just is just it's just no need to buy this brand new i am shout out to roya she did tell me that i could take it um into louis vuitton and then they would give me a um lock replacement so i'm gonna do that when i take to get this um hot stamped 
so the keep all um, and mine is the keep all 60 I would like to have a bandolier version maybe in the bigger one um because my husband when he was carrying that this weekend this past weekend he said that he would have liked a strap <laughs> so and he and I asked him did he want one and he said that he would like one so I'm gonna try to find one for him as well next thing on my Louis Vuitton a vintage wish list would be maybe the never full I had a never full of course like all of us did but I got rid of mine I had it in the mm size and I had it in the Damier e bean print so I always wanted to get a GM because I just thought the mm just didn't serve me and I was smaller than like I hadn't gained a weight but it just I don't know it looked weird on me and if I'm using that bag for travel I felt like I needed more space Phase. Um, my Mansoor Gabrielle tote is what I use for travel and it is pretty much the MM size but it's all leather so I think it's a little bit bigger don't necessarily need a never full but I would like to have a GM but if I never get a never full I'm definitely in the market for the Palermo and of course I will pop pictures of all of these bags on the screen you've heard me talk about that before I'm just waiting to find one that is in a little bit better condition condition and at a good price point. All the ones on Fashion File, they're okay condition, but they don't have the strap. Even though I probably won't use the strap, I think the strap would be good to have, um, especially if I'm gonna use it for travel, if I'm in the airport and I do need to put it on my shoulder, I would like to have um, the strap. So the Palermo. The next one is the um, No Way. I uh, would love to have a No Way. Not necessarily in the larger size, but a smaller size, but in Damier Azure. Damier Azure, if it's older, it probably has turned like yellow. So, but I found someone who can clean it and restore it. So that doesn't bother me. So definitely looking for a No Way. I'm not a fan of the Neo No Way or the newer version of the No Way. The older No Ways, either with the leather on the bottom or no, the, the really vintage ones don't have the leather all around the top. They just have it pretty much underneath the bottom. A Speedy, you know, I, I love a Speedy. I love a Speedy. If people, When people ask me if I only could keep one handbag in my collection of all time, it would be my Speedy. It definitely would be because a Speedy kid is very very versatile in my opinion and if it wasn't applicable to a situation like if I needed if I was going out and I needed a, like a clutch of course I wouldn't take the speedy I just wouldn't take a bag but the Louis Vuitton speedy but I want one in Damier Azure this is something when we travel next year I'm definitely going to take my vintage wish list with me when I travel abroad next year because we know that luxury items are cheaper um, outside of the United States. However, even vintage, you can find even more vintage or archive pieces. So I'm looking for an LV vintage trunk or box. And I've seen these over the years and I never, I thought, oh, those are nice, it'll be good to have. And I'm kicking myself because I should have purchased one years ago. Um, but you know, I just thought I didn't want to be just purchasing just to be purchasing. I was trying to be responsible, but those types of pieces, when you run across them, you need to go ahead and purchase them because they are just that. They're ar archive vintage pieces. So I would love to have one um, as a decorative piece and you know, I would love to have a huge trunk and use it as a coffee table. That would be beautiful. And like my sitting room, and my living room, and my prayer room, that would be beautiful. But a little box, a little, I like even the Scott box, a canvas box, hard box with the brass um, gold around the side, the metal. I would love to have those. A trunk, something that I could use as a keepsake box or even a jewelry box love to have that shout out to coco mcqueen and i think keiko has this bag too the papillon want that want that i think i may want it in damier e bean because they used to um issue it in damier e bean as well but if not the lv one would be lovely i want the standard size i know they re-released a trunk version of the papillon and a mini version i think but i want the standard size that i can kind of put on my shoulder pop it on those are really cute all right i always wanted the louis vuitton pochette matisse when i went to purchase it in 
in Canvas. My lovely essay, Lillian, she wouldn't let me buy it. She That's when they were having all of the problems. Uh, and my friend, Dominique, I think she went through three until she got the perfect one. As you know, the glazing, there was glazing issues, and then it was cracking, cracking at the, the flat part, which I think over time, you're gonna get that if you use the bag often, but for it to be cracking like within a month of use, and then Dominique, I think she did not use her hardly at all. And when she went to go use it, it was like cracking. So she was able to get a really, really good one um, that hasn't given her any problems. That's what you need to have is it really counts to have a really good essay that's gonna, you know, not only wanna sell you stuff, but really tell you, you know, what's what. But she said that they really hadn't fixed the issue. She travels to Paris to the factory a lot, the main corporate office a lot. And she said they still were having problems fixing the issue. And if you were to purchase the Matisse, the Pochette Matisse after that day, she su she suggested an emprunt leather, which I wasn't a fan of because it doesn't keep the shape. I, I really wasn't a fan of the emprunt leather. And you know, I don't know if you can see it. I only have one, I only have one emprunt leather piece because emprunt leather, there was an issue with that as well. So in order to get my Pochette Matisse feels, we're gonna do the Vintage Bel Air or the Mon So. Those two are very similar bags to each other and also to the um, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. The last two bags that are on my Louis Vuitton Vintage wish list would be the St. Cloud and the Hudson. The Hudson, I'm kind of a shot that I even like the bag, but I like the little buckles. It's very like 1990s, 2000s, and the 90s were good to me. The 90s, I had a really good time in the 90s, and I would love to have a bag, um, that another bag that would kind of commemorate um, the 90s for me. And my ultimate goal, if I were to find any of these bags that had a date code of my birthday, um, my birth year, 1973, that would be awesome. If I could find a 50 year old Louis Vuitton bag with my birth year, that would be, that would be awesome. All right guys, well, that's it. That is, I just wanted to pop in and give you my quick Louis Vuitton vintage or archive a wish list. Comment down below if you have any vintage loves that you are looking for, any archive pieces that you would love to share, or are you just not a fan overall of um, vintage items? Let me know that too. Thank you guys for your support, always hanging in here with me. And I hope you have the best day and I will see you on Friday. Take care, bye.